UK startup Odin Space has developed in-orbit impact detectors that it says can help track tiny pieces of space junk. Collision with even the smallest invisible debris can cause significant damage to other satellites and spacecrafts. The simple answer is yes, yes it's dangerous, yes it's getting much more dangerous, um, so it's an exponential problem. Debris generates more debris. Thousands of commercial satellites are being launched into the Earth's orbit at a record pace, driving up the risk of collisions and create hazardous debris. Efforts to track the smallest piece of debris have proved impossible until now. Odin Space have devised a lightweight detector system that can identify pieces of junk as small as 0.1 millimeters, even when it's traveling at thousands of meters per second. Odin Space co-founder and chief operating officer, Dan Terrett. So Odin Space is about mapping the 99% of debris that is just too small for the existing technology uh, in space. The, it travels so quickly that it presents such a threat to satellites that it's really important that you put your satellite in the right orbit, you shield appropriately, or in some cases you don't put shielding where it's not needed. The company says larger pieces of space debris, measuring more than a centimetre, are being tracked and monitored by radar and other satellites. Instead of looking for the smallest pieces of debris, Odin Space is listening, waiting for acoustic signals. James New is the company's co-founder and CEO. We fly panels similar to this. They sit on the outside of satellites. And then as debris strikes these panels and passes through them, and then we have these sensors on the, on the corners of these, of these frames that listen to those vibrations. And then we look at that data and we can analyze that data to tell you how big a piece of debris was, how fast it's traveling, what direction it's traveling in, and we do all that from those signals, from those acoustic signals. The panels are designed to be hosted on board other operators' spacecraft or satellites, creating a network of sensors providing a real-time picture of an orbit's environment. The company launched its first sensors on board an Italian small satellite launch vehicle, orbiting the poles in June 2023. We will begin gathering debris data in October. Our priority is to find out how much debris is in each orbit. Once we know how much there is and where it is, then we can start to look a little bit deeper. We can start to say, okay, this is how big it is, this is how fast it's traveling. That allows us to tell people how dangerous that debris is. You know, you don't just want to know where it is, you want to know what it's going to do to you when it strikes your satellite. 